All right, you know how we do. We're going to hear a little bit and then give a review. Now, this one's going to be a little long. I want to give them the floor for the whole thought. There's not a nigga. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> Damn, bro, the video just got started. Okay, I'm done. I'm not going to cut it off no more. You used to roast me growing up. That's doing better than me, I promise you. Look, I'm glad... I'm glad I stopped trying to be a rug when I did and just stayed true to myself because let, let's be real here, guys. If I would have listened to the niggas around me or went the same route of the niggas around me, I wouldn't be low tier guy. I had an epiphany because I, I always I always was like a, a you know, a nerdy nigga, liked video games and fucking you know, comic books and cartoons. Like, I was always that guy. But then I felt the pressure of growing up black and trying to be cool. That's why I got these dumbass tats that I wish I could get rid of. Because I was trying to be a nigga and please nigga, bro. Yo, my black guys in here, you know what the fuck I'm talking about? It's like... I'm sitting over here trying to be cool so I could be cool amongst my own motherfucking quote unquote people, whatever the fuck I'm gonna call them. And then one day I was just like, damn, I said, why am I trying to be on some fake thug shit? That's not even me. I like, I like video games. I like DBZ. I like shit, man. I like fighting games. Like, I don't do this, this raw shit. Stay true to myself. Now I'm low tier guy, you know what I mean? Now here's the thing, this is a conversation that's very prevalent amongst the community, amongst the quote unquote new age ball rogs versus the old ball rogs. Here's the thing, based on where you're at, you will have to, to assimilate and have to be a part of the culture to fit in. Now this does not mean, it doesn't matter where you are. If I, okay, for example, let's say I wanna go have a corporate job, right? I walk up in there, I ain't got no degrees. I'm like, hey, niggas hiring? I, I'm, I'm, I'm in there with my pants sagging. I ain't got on no suit, no nothing. I'm trying to get a job in corporate America. How you think that's going to pan out? So, yes, if you're in the hood or an impoverished area, you got to move a certain way. And one of the biggest things that I tell you was being a boy. I'm still, I don't care. I'm still a ball rock. It don't make no difference to me. If you didn't know, surprise. But what I will say is when I was out there with my Dreamcast and my PS2 and my Xbox 360, all I had in my apartment was a TV. A Xbox and I slept on the floor and I used a beanbag as a pillow you know I didn't have problems out there is because you have to live accordingly to where you at so yeah you ain't gonna have no problem if you ain't got nothing I ain't got nothing we broke together you ain't nothing to worry about because we all we all broke out here if you go to an Ivy League school and your parent or mom does only fans and you're only there in that school or a school that has to come from money you think they're not gonna be savages in that school you think you're not gonna get cut down and made fun of no dude it doesn't matter and, they, and i keep hearing this conversation that it's only them it's not just them it's not just the black community it's not the ghetto black community it's not the hood black community i'm just using that as terms as what's universally understood it's not even that you got to understand where you're at and it doesn't matter where you are it's a jungle no matter where you are and that's what has to be understood so to say oh it's just them no it's just that community the same way they'll be savages if you in a, a PWI and you're the only black guy there, pre predominantly white institution, if you don't know what that means, and you're the only black guy there, or you're you're the only Hispanic, or you're the only Asian there, yes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter, bro. It happens with everything and everybody, so I don't know why people keep singling it out in, in this community like it don't happen everywhere, or prestigious blacks, how they treat somebody who they perceive as ghetto. Come on now. You know, I don't stand on either side. I'm just saying people need to be more understanding of people, circumstances and situations and try to work together versus me versus you. And they need to listen. People need to listen on all sides and try to come to an understanding to make things better. Otherwise, everybody's just going to be at each other's necks and there's going to be no growth. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's my take. Take it how you will. I, I, I'm not saying one side or the other. I, I'm just saying, you know, that's all I'm saying.